Hey, hey wizards. wizards! I'm Kelly Kennedy. And I'm Chrissy Diaz. And you're watching BGTV. This week, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Wolfingtonville Dog Parade, Girls Varsity Swim, Roundtail Bowling Night, and the start of winter sports. But first, here's our weekly announcements. Thanks, Kelly. The United States National Army Guard will have an informational table set up during all lunches, Tuesday, November 13th. And attention all students who are interested in the Ski and Snowboard Club. You can find the link to sign up on the High School Club webpage. Email Ms. Kirk with any questions. Are you interested in showcasing your art or writing? Here's good news. You can submit your pieces to the Literary Magazine now. And did you know that the Literary Magazine is also holding a submission contest? You can win a $5 Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Details can be found on the posters around school. A Dunkin' Donuts gift card? Sign me up. <laughs> According to statistics, only 29% of women in the U.S. are employed in the STEM workforce. Are you a girl who wants to explore and experience STEM activities and careers? Join the Gems and STEM Club. The first meeting will be held November 15th in room 20. That sounds like so much fun. And attention all National Art Honor Society members. Signed permissions lists for our November 17th trip to the Met are due today to Miss Help. Permission slips can be found outside room 121. And that's all we have for announcements this week. Now here's Alex in Wolfingtonville. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who I'm Alex Stephanies from BGTV and I'm here with Ariana and Aurora. So today we're at Wolfingtonville. So Ariana, we're at the first annual Wolfingtonville. Can you tell me more about the event? Uh, we're here to raise money for the new dog park they want to build. Um, and it's a really nice event with all the dogs coming out. It was a little chaotic in the beginning, but who won is in it? Ariana, I know that you and Aurora both won the costume contest. How does that feel? Uh, we were really excited when we won. There was a lot of really tough competition. Um, but we had a lot of fun, and it was, it was really good. Are you excited, Rory? Huh? Are you excited that you won? Hmm? Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you so and much. I'm here with... Courtney. And we're here at Wolfingtonville. Now, Courtney, why are you here today? Um, I'm here because I saw this on Facebook. I wanted to check it out. I saw that it was the first year, and my mom was Grand Marshal, so I tagged along with her. Perfect. And what is your favorite part about the event? I really like the parade and walking with all the dogs, and the booth is really the booths are really cool here, so the whole thing is kind of really awesome. Sounds great. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. I'm here with Dr. Kim Keller. Now, what are you here today for? Well, we are here, I am here as part of the Ask Your Vet with Flannery Animal Hospital. Um, and so people come and ask me questions um, pertaining to their pet and I try and answer them. And what is your favorite part about Wolfingtonville? Well, meeting all the people and all the cute animals in their costumes. Great. You're here to talk about the health and awareness of keeping your dog healthy. Um, what is that about? Well, we talk to people about, especially during this season when they have the fall weather, is ticks. Um, because ticks can carry a lot of diseases and some of them we have vaccines for, like Lyme disease, but some we don't, like something called anaplasma. So we try and tell people ticks are out, you need to be careful. Even when it gets really cold, they'll still be around. So that's one of the things we talked about today. Um, good diets. I mean, people have had all kinds of really great questions. Um, and we've spurred some conversation with those questions in the bucket, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's great that you're trying to educate people more on how to keep their dogs healthy and like keep around this time of year especially. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. That's all for this week, Wizards. I had a wonderful time at Wolfingtonville. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, did you see how cute their little costumes were? Oh my gosh, they were all just too cute. I <laughs> know, right? And now here's Izzy with sports. 
Hey Wizard Nation, I'm Izzy Chendek here with your weekly sports update. Let's dive right in. With fall sports coming to an end and the winter season approaching fast, here's a quick recap on the last of our fall 2018 season. Friday, November 2nd, Cross Country headed over to Bear Mountain State Park for their sections meet, qualifying Liam Douglas Gilday and Thomas Garrison for their states meet on November 11th. Great season, everyone! Winter sports has also started to debut their talents with boys hockey winning a 10-0 shutout game on Friday, November 2nd against John Jay. They continued their wizard magic on the ice Saturday, November 3rd, beating Cornwall 11-4. Now get your swim cap and goggles ready so we can head on over to the pool deck. Thanks, Izzy, and good luck to you all at States next weekend. You'll do great. Good luck! And now here's Jamie Mirando at Round Hill. Hey, Wizards! I'm Jamie, and I'm here with Round Hill to join them on their family bowling night. So I'm here with Stacy Mangello. Now, what sparked the idea for family bowling night? It actually started when John, the owner here, approached us and asked if we wanted to do uh, a family night to get the families out and just enjoy a fun night. It seems like a lot of fun. Now, where do these proceeds go to? Um, we don't really make too much off of the evening, but the little bit that we do make goes to the Round Hill School PTA, which then goes back to the children in the school to be able to get them equipment and anything within the school. Now, speaking of kids, what do you think makes this event so important to them? They enjoy being with their friends and their family, and bowling is just super fun. Now, as a mom yourself, were you happy with this turnout? I was. I was. We. I will say that in the past we've had a little bit more people, but this is a great amount of people, and I'm glad that everybody's able to come out as a family and enjoy themselves. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great night. Thank you. I just wanted to give a quick shout out tonight to Colonial Ace for hosting such a great event. Until next week, Wizards, it's Jamie signing out. Wow, I used to love bowling. <laughs> same, but honestly, I'm horrible at it. Oh, same here. <laughs> now here's ads with Ari.
In order to donate blood, you must be at least 16 years old with parental consent or 17 and older without parental permission. You must weigh at least 110 pounds and not have donated blood within the last 56 days. For a better donation experience, you should hydrate well the day before, eat salty snacks the night before donating, get a good night's sleep before donation day. This will help you to be more relaxed and comfortable. Eat a well-balanced breakfast the morning of donating. This will contribute to the energy needed to help replenish your body after giving blood. Hydrate again right before your donation. After giving blood, your body loses iron. It is recommended that you take an iron supplement to replace it. You should plan to spend about an hour at the blood drive. Losing a large sum of blood in any way requires rest and refreshments. It is recommended that you don't engage in any vigorous exercise, such as lifting, pushing, or pulling heavy objects for about five hours after donating. One in three people will need a blood donation during their lifetime, and donating just one pint of blood could save three lives at a time. Cancer and surgery patients, accident and trauma victims, newborn babies, and about 2,000 people in our area every day need blood transfusions in order to survive. So Kelly, are you donating blood? I've never been able to because I'm too scared. Honestly, I'm pretty scared too, not gonna lie. Now here's Jesse with the coverage of Winter Sports. Welcome, Wizard Nation, to the winter sports season. My name is Gary Viscasil. I am your athletic director. I'm very, very excited to get our winter season started. Today, we started with uh, boys swimming, girls basketball, boys basketball, wrestling, indoor track, all kinds of great activities. Today is day one. Been looking forward to it since the last day of last season, which we were very successful last year, looking to build on the success of last year, and hopefully we will do as well, if not better, this year. My name is Coach Rose. Um, I'm the Barcy Boys basketball coach, and we just finished today's first day of tryouts. We have an exciting group of players coming back. We have eight returners. Even though we lost six seniors last year, I think that we have uh, some lofty expectations and attainable goals. Our goal this year is to definitely win the Section 9 Class AA uh, Division Championship, something we haven't done since 2013. Today is November 5th, 2018. Uh, this is the first day of indoor track practice. Uh, today we have, we, we've got about 64, 65 boys on the team right now. We're looking forward to having a great season. We're coming off a division championship from last year indoor, and we're looking forward to coming in and having some great relay teams, some great jumpers, and we're looking forward to a wonderful, great season this year. Hi, today is November 5th. My name is Coach Lee. This is our first day of wrestling practice. Uh, we're looking forward to having a good year. Uh, try to be competitive, all right? Put some hard work in, all right? And put in some serious results. Okay, today's November 5th. It's the first day of boys varsity swimming and diving season. We're very excited for what the season has to hold. We have a lot of new swimmers in the pool, including a bunch of returning swimmers and divers. And we're looking forward to a great season. Uh, looking forward to our games and having a great season for all our teams. Come out and support your Wizards. Well Wizards, with a very successful season of fall sports behind us, we're all very much looking forward to a new season of winter athletics. If you're in a winter sport or club, we wish you the best of luck this season and we know you'll make Washingtonville proud. With BGTV, I'm Jesse Berenger and we'll see you next time. That was great Jesse. I can't believe winter is coming so soon. Now here's ING with Ethan. To get the lead, Ethan would need to be tall, which he seems to have covered already. He also needs to bring a certain persona to the role of Buddy. Buddy is a very cheerful individual who is the absolute embodiment of Christmas. So there needs to be an absolute permanent smile plastered to his face, and he needs to be the walking, living, breathing incarnation of Christmas spirit. Do you, do you want the words? Yeah. Sure. Uh, a little flat. Uh, Close enough, yeah. Yeah, fine.
everything you'd expect of me, and I let uh, you. It's but I let you. Go. Oh, oh, sorry. Ethan's vocals were exceptional. I think if he had a bit more time to work on it, they could have been a lot better. As opposed to like singing like this, ah, and then ah, there's like a big difference there. Magic, things go wrong, just spread Christmas cheer by singing up for Let's see, so in sixth grade, I was Lumiere and Beating the Beast, seventh grade, I was Willy Wonka and Willy Wonka, eighth grade, I was Sebastian and um, Little Mermaid. I was Pongo in 101 Dalmatians oh. when I was in fourth grade, mm -hmm. and you know, she. The teacher offered me the lead role to be Prince Charming, but I said, I, I said no, mm. stop it. Okay. Broadway wants me, I want Hamilton. Mm. Well, no. it, was, it, was, it was when it was in the works. Overall, Ethan's dancing was very bad. He did not get most of the moves, but pay for effort. Just because of this audition, I realized that I might be a little too talented to be Ooh, like, oh, cool. Please like, especially Lucas Kaufman. Like that kid, oh. he makes like he just makes it so unprofessional in the first place oh. that I can't even be on the stage. When Ethan called me out, um, I thought he shouldn't be calling me out because uh, I don't think he's saying one note on tune. I don't think he did one dance move correctly. So if he's gonna call me out, I think he should at least you know own up to it. So so just. We will find some way to make it happen. Bye. Enjoy yourselves. Even though I won't be starring in it, make sure you go see Elf Jr. December 7th at 7 p.m. and December 8th at 2 p.m. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. You're always cracking me up. <laughs> Same here. So that's all we have for this week, Wizards. Don't forget to check out our weekly newsletters and our podcast. As always, I'm Kelly Kennedy. And I'm Chrissy Diaz. And thanks for watching the episode of BGTV. BGTV.